everyone, welcome back. It's Monday, February 1st. And yes, I am wearing my pajamas. Let's get comfortable and play the quest calendar. Get our daily dose dungeon crawling and our RDA of RPG. All right, so left or right, which way did you go? And what happened to you? Let me know in the comments. Let's see what we're gonna do today. So we have another map to play through. This is a map of the sewer. And it says, this sewer is not pleasant to be in. It is wet, smelly, and disgusting. It's best to get through quickly and get this mission over with. And again, we're going to start in the room with the S, and we're going to navigate to the room with the star. All right, so looking at our map here, we're going to start out and make a hard right and go down to room two. Room two says, you wade through a stream of sewage to get to this large chamber. You pass by a pile of rubble where the wall is falling apart. It begins to crumble on top of you. Avoid the falling debris. Roll a d20 plus your dexterity. So Jasper has a dexterity value of plus one. So we'll go ahead and roll a d20 and see what happens here. So we're right dead center with a 10. Plus one is 11. So we check our results and it says, if your result is 11 or more, you avoid the falling rubble. All right, coming out of room two, we are gonna go straight ahead into room three. And room three says, this large room has several pillars helping to support the city street above. You are cautious as you pass through and you move quickly into the next room. Out of three and into room five, which says you immediately hear a screeching sound as several hungry rats come at you. Avoid being trampled by the horde of rats. Roll d20 plus dexterity. So we'll go ahead and do that again. So back to the tower and another roll of the d20. This time we roll the one. We're going to use our lucky skill to re-roll this. So we use our lucky ability. To roll one better. Plus our dexterity still only gives us the three. So looking at the result, if your result is ten or less, you fail to avoid the rats as they attack you. You fight them off but manage to get bitten regardless. There were just too many of them. Reduce your health by two. That's going to take our health down to six. And after room five, we go into room seven. Room seven says, there is a small grate leading to the city level above. A trickle of water is flowing down. You hope it isn't what it smells like. Beneath the grate you find some coins that someone must have dropped. Add plus two gold to your character sheet. So we'll add those. And Jasper now has six pieces of gold. Coming out of room seven, we're going to take another right and go down to room six. Room six says, there's a large grate leading to the city level. There's a lot of noise above ground. Beneath the grate, you find some coins that someone must have dropped. Add three gold to your character sheet. All right, so we'll add another three and we'll take our six, turn them into nine pieces of gold. And out of room six, we go straight ahead into the finish area. All right, so we make our way through the sewer and we wound up losing two wounds, but we picked up five pieces of gold. So I guess it's kind of a toss up. I don't have the pickpocket ability, so I don't know how much money I've missed out on in total so far. If you guys are playing with someone with pickpocket, how much money do you have currently? I'm hoping that we come across some kind of shop where we can pick up some cool stuff. Um, I'm gonna need some kind of potion or something to heal some, some lost health back before we finally meet up with somebody big. But then again, Jasper can probably hold his own. Let me know in the comments, what path did you guys take? Did you encounter more rats than I did? Did you find more gold? What happened to you guys? Do you smell like poop coming out of the sewer? It's a possibility. We probably all do at this point. Let me know in the comments and I'll look forward to reading them and responding back. Some of the comments are hilarious. If you're not reading them, you absolutely should be. And if you're not leaving comments down there, you absolutely should be. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel Come back for tomorrow's video. Today was a double upload Monday. There's a Walking Dead battle report you guys should go check out too. That's a great game. I highly suggest it if you're into miniature stuff. Anyway, I'll stop rambling and I'll look for you guys in tomorrow's video.